back to Dell Technologies World 2022. My name is Cynthia and we are going to talk a little bit about choosing SaaS data protection for the multi-cloud era, speaking with one of our customers. So we have Joe Daniels here, CIO of the Illinois State Treasurer's Office. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me, Cynthia. Having a great time. There's a lot of energy here at this conference and I'm just glad to be here. Good to be in person, good to talk face to face, so thank you. <laughs> uh, 100%, you never realize how much you miss people. So tell me a little bit about how long you've been at the State Treasurer's Office, what your experience there has been like. Sure, so came to the Treasurer's Office in uh, 2018, uh, knew we had a big mission ahead of us. Uh, like with a lot of government agencies, we were dealing with a lot of legacy infrastructure, uh, the old way of doing things, and we've been on a fantastic digital transformation over the last four years. Uh, happy to say we are now a 80 to 20 cloud to on-prem solution, and we are leading the state uh, with technology. So how does technology play a role in your space? Um, you know, the last two years, if you would have asked me that question before the pandemic started, uh, I would say most of the business did not realize how they were reliant on it. Now, it, we're in the headlines every day. We cannot function without technology. So what did that environment look like before? I think for everyone, I can speak for myself, there are maybe some companies who didn't realize how important it was. So before then, what did that IT environment look like? Sure, just, just imagine worst case scenario, <laughs> uh, like a lot of uh, legacy environments, right? So you, you come in and there's just not a lot of organization, you, you don't have a lot of standards in place, and we took the time to really build something amazing, but you know, you have to have the right partners to walk you through that journey. Um, again, we're a state agency, we're a small team, but we're responsible for 53 billion in assets. So that is a large footprint to try to protect with our technology every day. And so there are a lot of different data protection solutions you could have looked at and different factors that may play a role in how you ultimately made your decision. So what were those factors and, and how did you ultimately decide? Sure, so I, I love this question. Um, kind of a resounding theme here at the conference has been that multi-cloud approach. Yeah. Uh, so for the last few years, we have been developing our own multi-cloud approach, uh, and I love to hear that it, it sounds like we're ahead of the curve with this. So we have different environments. We have Azure Commercial, we have Azure for Government, we have AWS, and then we have our on-prem environment. We were looking for that out-of-the-box solution that could handle all of those different data points. That's kind of a challenge because that is a unique environment, and you want that single pane of glass to manage all of that. That's how we stumbled on Apex Backup Solutions and it really helped us along our journey. So let's talk a little bit about data growth because I know over time you, know, you amass so much data. How did that play a factor? <laughs> well, so let's talk about that. So out of compliance, we are audited nine out of 12 months a year. We're a financial agency. We keep everything. So we, we like to make fun of the, the letter E in email. It stands for eternal and exhibit <laughs> A uh, in a lawsuit case. So it's, it's a challenge. We needed something that could scale to our needs. Our data is growing exponentially every single day. So we know that ultimately you ended up going with Apex Backup Services. How did you make that decision? What ultimately swayed you in that direction? Sure, cybersecurity is how we lead every decision that we make. We actually went with Apex. Uh, part of the solution is their ransomware recovery. Uh, watching it in a proof of concept, seeing how fast we can get our services back was the ultimate decision factor. That is the critical part. Our stuff cannot go down. If our agency goes down, the state ceases to operate because zero financial transactions happen. So that was our ultimate deciding factor. I love that. It goes back to what they were speaking about during the keynote on day one. It's about trust, right? Knowing that it's not going to go down, knowing that you have someone that's confident that you can rely on. Um, it sounds like that was a big factor for you. Oh, 100%. And, and if you look at how the deployment went, I didn't want to stand up a whole new infrastructure. I don't have the team to support it. And this was an infrastructureless deployment. It was fantastic. Yeah. So in terms of the landscape, you talked about how maybe it was a little bit of a wild west beforehand. What does that environment look like today? Well, I, I can tell you, I actually brought my uh, infrastructure manager with me to this conference so he could kind of uh, keep me on task with technical questions. His environment and his staff now have peace of mind because they can manage the tools that they have. Again, I'll use that term, single pane of glass. Putting the VX rail, partnering with Dell Technologies, bringing in Apex, we now have a streamlined solution where we're using all of our technology, and it's so easy to manage. And again, small staff, but all of the staff that comes in, easy to train, easy to deploy, and it makes it easy for a leader. 
Let's talk a little bit about those tangible benefits because sure. I know there are people at home or people even at the conference who might be interested in knowing ultimately what are you going to solve? What are the benefits that I can tell my CEO about? So are there a couple of benefits that you guys realize? Sure. So first let's talk about uh, your RTO, right? How long is it going to take me to get back up if I fail? So I'll use an example we had recently in our environment, but a very critical uh, on-prem server that crashed. It's one of the last legacy pieces of hardware that we had. We stood up a new host, deployed the Apex back up, 27 minutes, we were back online. Wow. That host serves 8,500 local units of government throughout the state. They did not know it was down. It was a seamless transition and a great team. They didn't even have to engage support. So it's two things, recovery and ease of use. That ease of use, being able to use that product and get it back up and running, saved my life. <laughs> Just to put some context behind that, before Apex Backup Services, what would you know an, an outage like that look like and what would the ramifications Weeks. be? Weeks. Weeks. Financial services would have stopped in that particular transaction. It would have been terrible. Uh, it would have been a resume building event for myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that we have pointed in the right direction. How do you see your environment evolving over time? Sure, so I, I like this question twofold. Five years from now, you and I have no idea what technology is gonna look like. It's gonna be very different. About eight, 18 months, technology doubles. So I'm excited for the future. What we're gonna do is we've partnered with Dell so well, they are walking with us on our strategy for the future. And I know there's gonna be new products and we're gonna have transition. And as long as you have that trust in that relationship, you guys work together for that common goal. That's what I'm excited about. And it gets back to the, the agileness and the flexibility of that multi-cloud, right? Always being able to understand and, and move with the needle because everything's going to change. Who yep. knows? <laughs> and, it, and with that, it has been so good talking with you. I feel like you are um, just a quintessential kind of icing on the cake for what we've been talking about the entire conference. Thank you so much for being here. This has been Dell Technologies World 2022, and we will be right back.